Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, um, Ranking Member. Appreciate this opportunity for have this hearing, and thank you to the witnesses for giving us your perspectives and expertise. While the NRC considers public opinion in their nuclear regulatory decisions, proceedings are often inaccessible and difficult to understand. Creating better, more accessible opportunities for public participation are necessary out of respect for potentially impacted communities to rebuild trust with the public and because it will lead to better outcomes down the line. That's why I'm pleased to see Congressman Levin's bill, H.R. 4530, which would establish the Office of Public Engagement and participation within the NRC included in today's hearing. Um, Ms. Uh, Toth, is that how you say your name? Toth, okay, thank you. Can you discuss how an Office of Public Engagement and Participation at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would help communities better navigate proceedings before the commission? Certainly, thank you, Congressman. Um, as the ranking member of the full committee, uh, Representative Pallone mentioned on the, on the previous panel, from 2021 to 22, the NRC undertook a systematic assessment of how it addresses environmental justice across all of its programs and activities. And that review process uh, revealed a lot of learnings about how the commission can be doing better that extend beyond just um, how it implements um, environmental justice practices across the agency. Um, the staff made many recommendations to the commission that are still sitting with the commission for action. Um, one of these referencing the NRC's existing 1995 EJ strategy flagged that the NRC has a goal to inspire stakeholder confidence through more um, comprehensive public outreach, engaging more transparently, providing information up front. Um, and, and certainly the staff had identified uh, that currently NRC stakeholder outreach is very infrequent and often only ever takes place when there is already a pending activity uh, within the community. Also that in, in its engagements with, with tribal and EJ communities, but also writ large, the NRC, it's often incumbent on an individual project manager to uh, take the initiative to conduct effective local engagement and outreach. And there's a lot of variability among the project management um, of how they uh, you know, undertake that work. So we see OPEP as potentially playing an important function, not only um, in externally making itself accessible to the public and answering questions, but also internally potentially being able uh, to train project managers in effective strategies for public engagement. Uh, so an Office of Public Engagement, do you think it potentially could help both project sponsors and potentially impacted communities as well? Yes, absolutely. As I mentioned in my opening remarks, um, the OPEP would establish more uh, capabilities to enable the public to engage with uh, the regulator, which is an important democratizing function of, of any federal agency. But critically, having that office in place, um, the OPEP would also be able to um, engage with uh, some of the developers as well, or with communities where there is conversation around potentially hosting new nuclear infrastructure and bringing those communities into the process early on to answer a lot of questions that they might have, um, bring them into the process because as we know, a lot of times even with um, environmental, environmental reviews under NEPA, some of the delays that are experienced are because of um, issues or concerns that the public has that aren't unearthed until much later in uh, the, the infrastructure siting process. So OPEP could start to detangle that concern to the benefit of industry. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I'm the kind of average American before I got elected. Now I'm, I'm just kind of messed up. Uh, I've been doing this for 27 years. I'm, I'm in the inside uh, looking out. Uh, but before I got elected, I'd never gone to a community meeting when it came to the environmental issues impacting my community, the Northeast Valley where I was born and raised. Um, but when I got elected, it was brought to my attention that we had more dump sites and more particulate matter issues emanating out of our community that were actually coming from all over LA County, the largest populated county in, in the country. And it wasn't until I became an elected official that I realized that somebody needed to do something to actually listen to the people who are affected by these things, uh, not just look at it from the vantage point of somebody investing a uh, million dollars, a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars into a facility. It's about balance, about making sure that we listen to all sides. And so with that, um, can you talk about how the NRC Office of Public Engagement and Participation Act would build on the NRC's environmental justice review team's recommendations? 
Yeah, certainly, Congressman. Um, you know, with the systematic assessment of EJ that the commission has has identified, they they held a lot of both public and private uh, community meetings to understand how the public felt about the NRC's engagements. Um, certainly found things like imp improvements in translation services, providing longer notice ahead of public meetings, the kinds of learnings that an Office of Public Participation could learn um, and convey to NRC Commission staff to implement to improve that, those functions. Thank you very much. My time having expired, I yield back.